Hi guys, so in this short video, we are going to go over one of the most powerful features of GIS, that is buffering. So we are going to make a fixed distance buffer from the state capitol buildings, which are the blue stars on our maps. Okay, let's get started. So to start out with, let's take a look at the coordinate reference system associated with state capitals. So I'm going to right click on state capitals and go to properties. And I'm going to double check that I'm in a projected coordinate system. Because if you remember from our earlier exercises, uh, buffering doesn't quite work out if we have uh, unprojected data. So we are in WGS84 pseudo Mercator, uh, and that is a projected coordinate system. So we are good to go. Okay, so to buffer, we go up to Vector, Geoprocessing Tools, and select Buffer. So I want to buffer a distance of 25 miles. So I need to change both the distance and the units. And I want to save my buffer as a layer, as a shape file, so that I can work with it later. If I don't do this, I get a temporary file which will not carry over and I cannot add to other projects. So I am going to say I want to save it to file and I will put it with the data folder of the buffer and query practice. And I'm going to give it a name that is descriptive. So I'm going to call it buff25 my, and this is actually the second one that I've made today, so I'm going to call it buff 25 mile too. It's really good practice to uh, include in the name of the file uh, something that indicates what the distance is. And there we go. So if I drag my buffer below the state capitals and then zoom in on them, what I can see is I have a nice 25 mile distance around each of my state capitals. Happy trails!